Hello, it is Thursday, September 28th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday crossword today, which means we are in, hopefully, for an interesting, intricate, or involved theme. And this interesting, intricate, or involved edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us uh, by... Let's see, Josh Lucas, Alex, Laura Saxon, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support, bringing us this series, sustaining this channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to support the channel as well, you can do so at patreon.com slash daily solve or via the link in the description field underneath the video where there is... Uh, a suite of bonus videos, as well as the Let's Check the Crosses mug for benefactors. Thank you, as always, to all of the patrons. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you uh, are enjoying these videos. That's a big help. And you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server, uh, to which there's a link in the description field as well. All right, so let's get on to the crossword. This is a Thursday puzzle, so um, as I say, it usually has some kind of involved theme. It was constructed by Ricky Cruz, who's constructed, I think, around half a dozen puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see how we get on with this one. Frequent flyer. Oh, oh, wow. Sorry, I just, sorry, I just noticed what's going on in the um, with the theme. It's 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 incredibly evident right from the the start. It's something to do with with music. Interesting. Sorry, I just have to look at this because I'm so intrigued. Some energy drinks, and here we have an empty musical staff, a treble clef staff, and then here we have court athlete, slangly. Oh, this is really interesting. So, oh boy, let's see. It's been so long since I've read music. <laughs> what key is this? Um, is this A major? Oh, I hope that's right. Uh, what about this one? This would be E major? Most won. What is this getting at? I'm, I'm completely baffled by this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, wow, I'm very interested to, interested to see how this, how this progresses. Anyway, frequent flyer. I don't know. I mean... Sometimes SST for supersonic transport for um, uh, the, uh, um, what is it? The, the former Concorde, the former supersonic jet, but I don't know if that's what this is. NASCAR driver Johnson haven't a clue about that. Work considered by some to be the first romantic era symphony. Uh, it maybe maybe the Eroica, Beethoven's third? I think that this is interesting. This is a very musical, <laughs> it's a very musical crossword. Let's see. Does that help me with this? Frequent flyer. I guess it could just be jet instead of the S the supersonic jet in particular. Wrath, wrath anger is ire. Uh, so Aroga is looking good with that ire there. Let's see if we can keep that going. Some energy drinks. Um, booster shots. I have no idea what's going on with that one. Sorry, and I, and I don't. I still don't really understand how the musical staff plays into it. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Skirt option. A, a mini skirt, or could be. NASCAR driver. Oh, right. Yeah, J uh, Jimmy. Spelled in a slightly less common way. No idea if that's correct. This that would be Jet. We, we sports sport uh, tennis, the Nintendo sort of sports anthology game. So cinnamon roll topping. There we go. Icing. Okay, this is this is working out. So a stand in a studio is an easel. There we go. And raw power, a sinew, sort of muscle and sinew, raw power. Uh, so here we have some energy drinks. Oh, monster cans? Monster, uh, monster... I, I know there is a, obviously there's a brand of energy drink called Monster. What on earth does this have to do with that staff? I'm worried I'm not going to be able to figure it out. <laughs> uh, because I, I, yeah, I'm just not seeing it. This Again, this would be C major or A minor. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry if there's a, a low-hanging pun there that I'm, I'm missing. I apologize. 
quantity is an amount, and that's abbreviated as the as the clue is. Abound uh, to you know if, if people abound, they team. There there are lots of people here. Princess Fiona, for one, that would be the character from Shrek, presumably. So an ogre. Uh, if one made good for one's sins, for instance, one atoned for one's misdeeds. New Hampshire city, mm, not sure. Video game hero who battles the evil Doctor Wily. Uh, it looks like Mega Man, who's a video game character, and I don't remember his foe, but it must be this character. I think, if I, embarrassingly, if I'd seen this without any crosses, I would have maybe guessed Sonic the Hedgehog, but <laughs> it's obviously not right. Okay, New Hampshire City. Oh no, because that was Eggman that he fights. Okay, anyway, sorry. New Hampshire City is. Um, Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not sure. Bygone owner of Capitol Records. It must be EMI, which is a which is a record company. Uh, weed and some medicinal wine. What sort of weed might one use to make wine? I don't know. Sergeant, e.g., a non-commissioned officer in a military context. So, monster. Oh, maybe this is the C from C major. Some energy drink. Monsters in C? Oh, Monsters, Inc. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. So it's the... Right. I see. So the, here we have a sort of punny way involving kind of a rebus in a traditional sense, not in the New York Times crossword sense, to indicate... Uh, so Yeah, it's a, it's a punny way to clue a seemingly unrelated... Uh, phrase, which in this case is the name of the Pixar film, Monsters, Inc. So what we have done is we have taken monsters, which are some energy drinks, pluralized because of some, and then um, we've put them in the key of C. Wow, that is tough. Because this won't mean anything to you if you don't know anything about how to read a musical staff. Um, ah, that, that's, that's a tricky one. Okay, so anyway, I'm let me know how you've fared with this puzzle. I'm already curious. New Hampshire City, right? Why do I keep looking at that? I don't know. It's okay. Meh, you could say. Uh, ending with Wikipedia. Wikipedia ending with Wikipedia. I don't know what that is asking for. Sorry. I mean, it looks like it's it's looking for something that follows the word Wikipedia, but I don't, I don't maybe I'm mis, misinterpreting. Ending with stand or step. I do. I mean, I feel that there are quite a few ordinary clues in this puzzle that I'm just, I'm just not seeing. Shook hands, say met. Maybe they, you know, that seems reasonable. Jerky question mark. So presumably, it does not mean jerky in the sense of the meat product, beef jerky, but rather maybe you know a way in which someone is acting like a jerk, that kind of thing. Cocktails with orange peel garnishes. Um. That's an incredibly common uh, Negronis, though, which I really enjoy. Um, there we go. Negronis frequently have an orange peel garnish, so that, that, could, that could be it. Ending with stand or step. I mean, I keep thinking ing, standing or stepping, but that would require P-I-N-G for the step, so it's not, not that. It'll be really obvious when it, when it comes in. Stand-ins or step-ins? Stand step-ins? Maybe? It probably ends with an S, because stand on, step on, so that's not right. Talent show performance, say. I'm not sure. Blank tour. PGA tour. The tour is capitalized, so this will be a proper noun. It'll be the name of something. Uh, in this case, golf, uh, golf tournament. So jerky impudent? You could describe someone who's being a jerk is being impudent, maybe. So that, that seems plausible. So this does look like stand-ins or step-ins. And then talent show performance, say, is... I don't know. Ending with Wikipedia. Wikipedia... Ending with Wikipedia. I'm, I'm really confused by the phrasing of this. Again, it'll probably be obvious when I see it. Ingredients and in some lotions. Oh, is it aloe? Is this maybe not impudent? 
Surely this is aloe, the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword. The additional sort of lotion ingredient, I would say at least, although I don't think that comes up frequently enough to necessarily matter. Um, so what is jerky? Impaling? Uh, impolite. Oh, there we go. Okay, sure. That also works as, you know, uh, fair enough. Talent show performance, say, is a stage act, maybe? Ending with Wikipedia. Oh, dot org. Okay, very clever. So it's the it's the URL, it's the web address to Wikipedia. Wikipedia.org. There we go. That is perfectly reasonable. And it just it was um it, it was reasonable, but but sort of slightly clever in the sense that it wasn't what I the path my, my brain was going down. Talent show performance, say stage, yeah, stage set, stage act, probably stage act. It's just a guess abbreviation would be an estimate. So there we go. And it, it is abbreviated. Blank memory. In a, sorry, ability, not inability. Ability to recall images with high precision. A mimetic memory? Certain subtracted weight. So a tear, if you sort of tear a, a, a scale, you are subtracting out from any subsequent measurements, the amount of weight that's already on it. Uh, so you're sort of normalizing to the current weight. So that would be a tear. Um, I want this to be mimetic. Let's see. Stage act. Oh, right. Here's another one of these. Court athlete slangily. Something in a baller in a... <laughs> um, so I was right. That was a... That, that was... I think that's what I said. Didn't I say a major? Ballerina. There we go. Uh, here we have applications, so the, the use of something, the application of it. And New Hampshire City is Nashua. I think I've probably heard of that, but yeah, I'm not, I don't think I've ever been to New Hampshire, so um, yeah, I'm not very familiar. Weed in some medicinal wine. Oh, dandelion, I suppose, right, which they, you know, sort of present like flowers, but are a weed. I guess they're both. I, mean, I guess lots of plants can have flowers. Uh, heavy tool is a sledge. There we go. That would be a heavy tool. Oh, no, it's not mimetic. It's eidetic. There we go. That sounds better. Uh, eidetic memory. That does that does ring a bell. But yeah, this, these are not terms frequently, <laughs> frequently deployed by me to the point that they would just pop to mind immediately. Twilight vampire. Okay, well, I know next to nothing about Twilight, but I certainly have heard of Edward, right? Edward it's going to be ridiculous if that's not if I'm wrong about that. But I'm I'm about ninety percent certain that Edward is a vampire from Twilight. Dow Jones, there we go. Nag at is to gnaw at you, maybe sort of metaphorically. Well, definitely metaphorically, I think with nag. And then big name in stream of consciousness writing. Right, who is that? This is one where it'll be obvious in retrospect, I'm sure. Rambles is. Um, Rants and rambles, maybe? You sort of you're rambling verbally, you're ranting, could be. Common five petaled flower. Not sure. Rants rants might be might be wrong. City connected to Cuidad Juarez by the Bridge of the Americas. Ooh, I should just know this, shouldn't I? But I don't know that I do. Buddy blank. Buddy system? Uh I suppose referring to just the general concept of having people paired off so that they you always know who your, your counterpart is uh, for sort of safety and organizational purposes. Setting for a teacup, maybe. A doily, you could, you could stereotypically sort of put a, a china teacup on a lace doily, maybe. Right, I think rants might be wrong. This doesn't look like it's fitting. Oh, is it, is it El Paso? Cuts off. Yeah, okay, that could be lops off, chops off, as opposed to cut someone off vocally. Uh, here we have common five-petaled flower. What is this? I don't know. Language suffix. Ease, very common uh, ending to language names in English. Aziz Ansari's Parks and Recreation role. Oh, right, okay. I mean, I've, I have seen this, and I do remember him in it. I don't remember his character's name, unfortunately. No, maybe I do. Is it Tom? I think it might well be. Common five petal flower, violet. There we go. Okay, good. So Tom, Tom worked out. This is El Paso. It must be. 
rambles and raves. That's better than rants. I like it even more. Okay. There we go. You ramble and rave and, and maybe even rant. So then what is this? Maybe I have something wrong still. Big name in stream of consciousness writing. This doesn't look... Oh, no, it's not... No, sorry. It, it, it's roves. It's not, it is not, it's not verbally rambling. It's, uh, it's physically wandering, rambling, roving along the countryside, say. There we go. Okay, so it could have been either one, but the crosses demand roves. So there we have it. Uh, right. Oh, oh, Wolf is in Virginia Wolf. There we go. Okay, that's, that's the name here. Okay. So here we have leaf raking time. So what key is this? Oh boy. Okay. This would be, um, this would be, uh, oh boy. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've had to do this. I can't really remember how this works, to be honest with you. So... Um, it is, is it E flat? I think it's E flat. Sorry. I'm sure, the, I'm sure there are many musicians watching this who are much speedier than I here. It's just been ages. Okay. So leaf raking time. Well, if it is E flat, it'll be something in E flat, right? So does that help me? Leaf raking time. I'm worried this is wrong. Um, no, I think that is right. But I, I, I can't quite see the answer, though, unfortunately. That's annoying. Um, leaf raking time. Something about fall? I don't I don't quite understand what this what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Dismal could be dire. Actually, let's check the E. That might be what I want. Econ stat. Oh, maybe it's not E. I bet it isn't. Because this is going to be ING. Sorry. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um oh no, of course. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was thinking about that completely wrong. It is it is G flat. It is definitely G flat. Sorry. And then economic stat would be GDP or GNP maybe for gross domestic product or gross national product. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know which, so. Uh, holder of a record 21 Oscar nominations for acting. Wow, is it Meryl Streep? That's amazing. Um, hacky sack hitter one's knee, right? The little sort of... A bean-filled bag that you can knock around with your feet or knees. Made a semicircle, say. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, I misspelled knee. Oh, this so this will be a D for past tense here. GDP. Okay. So I still don't know what this is. Leaf raking time. What? Sorry if that's very obvious. Texter's indication of uncertainty, IDK for I don't know, and a power tool in carpentry is a sander, a, um, a joiner? No. Oh, here's another one of these. Okay, most wand. So this would be the key of E major. So we can simply say in E. So most wand is... the sort of palest or the, you know, sort of gauntest or, hmm, I'm not really sure still. Pasta a la norma is a, is a dish. Cell messenger, probably RNA. That has come up, that's, that's become a pretty frequent uh, bit of the New York Times crossword recently, I think. Maybe not, it's probably not recent, but I've just been noticing it. Oh, so power tool and carpentry, a nailer, power nailer. There we go. That makes sense. And then what is the leaf raking time? 
I don't know why I can't see that. Okay, where, where else can we look? Baylor University City. Ooh, uh, I think Baylor's in Texas, so maybe it's Waco, Texas. Night on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Gladys Knight. There we go. Okay, so yeah, Waco may well be correct. Martial arts rank. Oh, right. Dawn, it's sort of sixth dawn, that kind of that kind of thing. I don't don't know enough about it to know, you know, which ones are particularly high and significant, but but I, I believe that's the answer. Like many ribeye steaks would be bone in. Um, it's very common. Wait for that cut to be prepared. And then some friskies offerings. That's um, pet food, so uh, cat something maybe? What about this? Assistant in ministry, an acolyte, so in a kind of religious context here. Um, so cat, tr oh, cat treats. Okay, there we go. That'll be it. Re recipe abbreviation teaspoon maybe in three letters. Uh that seems reasonable. Place to order patatas bravas. So that's a that's a great um, Spanish dish. So maybe a tapas bar, sort of spicy um, potatoes in a in a kind of tomato sauce, which I have prepared occasionally. So what is the most won? The I feel as though I, I'm consistently just failing to notice the. So what should be clear puns here, but I'm just not seeing it. The most won, the, I don't know, sorry. Toronto athlete familiarly. Oh, is that the Maple Leafs? I mean, I've heard of that team, didn't know it was Toronto, but I think it might be that. So there we go. Is it Palestine? Oh, is it, no, Palest? In E? Oh, right, of course, I forgot how the pun works. I'm sorry, I completely forgot how the actual mechanic of the theme works. Yes, it's not the whole word that means most won. It's just this bit. It's the palest in E, and then the whole thing results in a, as far as I can tell, completely unrelated answer to the overall clue, which is Palestine, which is obviously an actual uh, word. So there we go. Okay. Ah, sorry about that. Oof, ridiculous. So then this one would be whatever it is. It's fall. It is fall. It's fall in G flat. Sorry, this is so much easier than I was making it. Uh, and then that results in the common phrase falling flat. There we have it. Okay. Oof, I really made a hash of that. To give the go ahead is to let somebody do something, presumably, and then made a semicircle. Oh, I see. Made as in a semi truck. You made it circle would be to steer it. So there we go. And the say means these aren't synonyms. Obviously, steering and sort of making a circle in a vehicle are, are not synonymous. But that the say means this is an example of that thing. So making a semi go in a circle would be an ex, would be an example of steering it. Unknowns are ifs and portmanteau for a certain self taken video on a smartphone. Is this, is this not just selfie? Well, I guess it must not be. Because that doesn't imply video to me. For a certain self-taken. Oh, and self-taken makes me want to not have self in the answer. What is that? I, I don't know. I actually don't know what this is. I, I may not have ever heard this phrase. We'll have to see. Recipe abbreviation could be teaspoon. Let's see. Some splattery paintings at MoMA, they could be the work of Jackson Pollock. So Pollux. Is his name with an A here or, a, oh, I can't actually remember. Sorry about that. Let's leave it for now. Green onion would be a scallion. OR workers could be RNs for registered nurses. The go ahead could be the A-OK. -okay. Maybe you're letting somebody do something. Uh, here we have a Zippo alternative. So a manufacturer of lighters, which would be BIC, which sometimes is clued as a pen manufacturer, in this case, a lighter manufacturer, and a slow fee? Is that a sort of slow-mo self-taken video? I, I have no idea at all. Uh, maybe? Slow fee? I'm going to have to try it. Let's see. It is. Okay, there we have our tricky Thursday puzzle with a very, this is a theme that is going to be opaque uh, to some extent if you aren't able to uh, interpret a musical staff and 
in my case, I still even in all cases wasn't. I feel feel very silly for misinterpreting this one, uh, which I should I shouldn't have done, but but oh well. Uh, let's see. So we had some energy drinks, which are Monsters in C, leading to Monsters Inc. Here we had a court athlete slangily, a baller in A, a ballerina. Here we had the most won, the palest in E, or Palestine. And finally, we had uh, the leaf raking time, which was fall in G flat. That one's very clever. Uh, or falling flat. Uh, get, getting a um, <laughs> getting a flat in there is very nice. We didn't get a sharp in here anyway, anywhere. Um, but well done getting a flat key. So <laughs> very good. And there we have it. That was our 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 very clever. I, and presumably, this is the first example of this in a theme. I mean, given how many New York Times crosswords there have been over the years, um, it's rare to have a completely new theme concept. I don't know if this one is completely new. I, I don't have any way to know that off the top of my head, but it feels as though it may well be. I'd be curious if, if anyone can can fact check that. Um, I'm not sure how you'd go about doing that, but, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if this were a new idea. It's very clever. So there we have it. A, a very nice Thursday puzzle by Ricky Cruz. Well done to him. I'm, I'm extremely curious to know both the, you know, whether this is a uh, a new theme idea, but also I'm very curious to know how people fared with it in general. I'm, I'm curious to know how uh, how this sort of musical conceit was received by people. Anyway, there we have it. That was the Thursday crossword. I don't think there were any clues to read from yesterday, uh, comments to read from yesterday's puzzle in terms of corrections um, about uh, sort of things I may have said misspoken or anything like that. But there, there was. There were several comments about the Noam Chomsky linguistic sort of novelty sentence, colorless green ideas sleep furiously, and uh, they are very interesting to read. So I would say if you're interested in that concept and you'd like to read more about it, there were several interesting and worthwhile comments left on yesterday's video about that. So I, I will refer you on to those. But that's that for now with today's uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back, of course, tomorrow for a Friday puzzle, which will almost certainly contain no musical staves in the clues. A themeless Friday crossword for us to solve. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm -hmm.